Hello and welcome back and today I'll be talking about House of the Dragon and giving my overall thoughts and opinions and review on season 2 and is this worth your time because we waited for 2 years for this season and we're now stuck with the season for another 2 years so was it worth the wait and did it satisfy us so let's just jump right into this so season 2 is 8 episodes and when I heard they shortened the episode count I thought they were rushing the story on the contrary they did the opposite this season is just filler. There is a story in episode 1 to 4, 5 to 8 is completely filler. There is only half a season in this full season. That's what I'm going to say. Episode 5 to 8 added nothing to the story and was just there so they could pad out the runtime because it's clear they want House of the Dragon to go on for four seasons when there's only three seasons worth of story at most. It just completely baffles me that HBO thought this season would be suitable for us to view because there are so many plot lines and subplots in this story that do absolutely nothing and go nowhere. You have Renala or whatever her name is. I'm not going to look it up because I do not care anymore. Just in the veil, chilling, and then she finds Sheep Stealer at the end. I was like, I do not care at this point. You took way too long to get to the Sheep Stealer reveal. That should have been maybe episode 6 if you're going to take a while. Not have Sheep Stealer in one shot right at the end of the tr like whole season. I just stopped caring because how boring that plot was. Also, she abandons Rhaenyra's children. So, that's dumb. And another thing, Damon, best character in season 1, spent 7 episodes in Harrow Hall tripping balls. And for all of it, just to amount to Damon having a vision about the Song of Ice and Fire and the Promised Prince, which is Daenerys and the White Walkers. That is it. And then at the end, he's like, Rhaenyra, you're my queen. Okay, that could have been one episode. A lot of the plots in this could have been one episode. It just really, really annoys me that they were like, okay, we're stretching this out because we do not want to finish the show. So money ruined this season, in my opinion. There's four episodes out of eight, which are actually story a lot of characters are just really really annoying and moronic i really thought chorus valarian was at some point going to notice his bastards and actually legitimize them but instead it amounted to nothing a lot like Rhaenyra and Alicent's conversations where they're just going in loops season one ends with them on bad terms they're going to war season two starts with them being like I need to go talk to Alicent I need to break in and go talk to her and then they go to war they're like okay we have to go to war the battle at Rook's Rest we need to kind of do this again it's like you're just repeating yourself these characters are just repeating themselves I do not care there are some good moments where like Alicent's at the uh Small Council, and she realizes that she's created a monster with Eamon. Eamon's a standout character. He's one of the only characters which was entertaining from start to finish. He's, I've looked at the times, he's barely in each episode, but he really does have this presence. It's absolutely amazing, Eamon is. And they definitely underused Helena. Aegon was interesting until then they were like, okay, you're now going to be a vegetable and you can't do nothing. I know they can't do much of him, but. On the green side, Eamon was the only character that was entertaining. On the black side, you had a lot of characters being wasted. And I would say probably the only entertaining character was Jaehaerys, Jace. Because he he was he was really cool. He was able to get the Starks on his side. He was able to get the Freys. He was going out there doing stuff. And then when the Bastards were getting the dragons, that was entertaining. But you also had him being angry about that. And it made sense. I liked that conflict. So there was some small bright spots. But I have to say the majority of the time. I was wanting more and very disappointed. This season was meant to be the start of the war. But instead it was the march to war. Even though season one was the march to war. It really disappointed me. Because I went in expecting a war. Instead I just got politics. And even if there was battles. We either picked up right at the end of the battle. Or cut away just before. We only had one battle in the entire season. In episode four. It just started to really drain me. And I think the breaking point was. I think episode five. Where you had everyone at the small council. Or episode six and Eamon's like I need Otto Hightower here and then someone's like oh yeah there's war in the reach uh yeah he's not gonna come it'd be cool if we saw that he got a little cameo in the eighth episode where he's in prison so we obviously lost that war but maybe if we actually got a side story there instead of maybe seven episodes in Harren Hall or sitting in the veil it's just really annoying the show focused on the wrong characters for season two and because of that the show has suffered and it's now been called online the house of the dragon because it is just dragging on and you're like okay 
Where's the action? Where's the story? This has worse pacing than Fear the Walking Dead. That's what I'm have to say. So, is this worth a two-year wait? No, this is not worth a two-year wait. Is it worth another two-year wait? We're going to sit with this? No, it is a terrible season, and I would put it on par with season eight of Game of Thrones. That's how much I disliked it. So, what would I say my overall thoughts and opinions of this? It is a disappointing season, and I would have to give it maybe a five out of ten. It is just meh. It could have been way better. I almost wanted to give it a 4.5, but no, just a 5, because the first four episodes were actually nice. It's just those last four, which completely ruin all momentum and everything for the show. But this is just my opinion, so please tell me down below. Did you like House of the Dragon Season 2, or did you hate it? I'll listen to all your thoughts down below. But this is me today, so goodbye, peace out, and I'll talk to you later.